Okay everyone, my name's Sharon with uh, Kentucky Girls Life. I'm here tonight, I'm gonna be making a uh, country fried steak. Uh, it's one of my favorite dishes. And uh, so, let me get you down to my pan. You can see what I'm doing. I got homemade mashed potatoes going and I used to serve it with corn. So, uh, you'll need one and a half cups of uh, all-purpose flour. And you're going to use one cup of milk, another bowl, so you know, take two bowls, one for your flour and one for your milk. And you're going to combine one teaspoon of paprika, okay, so it takes one teaspoon of paprika, you're going to mix it in with your flour. And it takes one tablespoon of salt. Okay, so let's get our salt. Okay. And a fourth teaspoon of pepper. Get the black pepper open here. Okay. Mix that up real good. And then we're just going to set them aside. And then we're going to heat our oil in a large skillet. It takes um, a fourth of a cup of oil. Uh, that's what I'm going to start out with. Sometimes I add a little more. We're going to start out with one fourth cup. Okay. And so we're going to heat our oil over medium heat. So. Okay, I'm gonna get this heated up and then we'll be right back. Okay, since my oil's heated, uh, there's only me and my boyfriend and my little grandson. So I've got like three, I think three keepsakes, but it's a pack of keepsakes. Uh, you can buy as many as you need for your family. Uh, this recipe calls for uh, 2.6 ounce package. Oh, wait a minute. Two pounds of keepsakes. I'm sorry. Cutting date pieces, but like I said, we're only, there's only three of us. Um, and it also calls for a country style gravy mix, but I cook mine from scratch. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take uh, a keepsake and you're going to dip it in milk, in your milk. And then you're going to put it over here in your flour mixture. I'm going to just kind of press the flour a little bit. Make sure it's coated real good. And just lay your steak down in there to fry. Okay, This pack actually had four pieces of meat, so. Just dip it in milk, and then dip it in your flour, make sure it's good and coated. And I'm gonna add just a little bit more oil to mine here. And uh, just shake it, because I don't think it's got enough. And uh, be back in just a second. Okay, so now I was able to get all four of them in my pan. So now you want to take and um, 
cook like five minutes on each side or until golden brown and tender. And then you can add uh, additional oil as you need. And I said I was going to do that, so I'm just going to add just a tad more. There we go. And, uh, fried up here um, I'll be right back in just a second when I get ready to flip them okay now I'm back uh, I'm gonna turn these over uh, and then I'll cook on the other side and you want to save your pan grease because I said I'm gonna show you how to do uh, gravy from scratch instead of using the pack. That's up to you whether you want to use the pack or if you want to do it my way. Um, either way, there it's, it's good. I'll be right back in a few minutes. Okay, I'm gonna put them over. We'll make sure they're good and done, and if there's no. Uh, Word coming out of them. So we want to get a knife and cut down in this one just the thickest. Oh yeah, they're done. A bit more oil. And I just kind of judge, you know. Um, get this about how much you want. Uh, and that piece of this is alright. Anything drippings or anything like that, uh, it's good to leave in. Uh, and get my flour. It's flour. Uh, I just kind of fight by a ball. Uh, you don't want it too much flour to work real thick. Uh, just enough to where you can. Uh, we're just sticking on up with uh, when you add your milk. So, probably I mean three fourths, maybe a fourth of a cup of uh, flour. So it just depends on the oil. I'm just getting my flour browned. Some uh, watered down milk. Um, I guess probably about a half a cup of milk to half a cup of uh, um, water. And you're just going to stir it until it thickens. And we're going to add some pepper to it. Judging it by uh, if you had to have uh, exact measurements, 
I'd say probably about a four teaspoon of pepper and then you want to salt it to taste um, too much salt let me turn this up just a little bit and I just usually just do this number until I see that it thickens uh, you don't want it too thick if it does become too thick you can add a little bit more milk to it uh, another thing is if you don't have milk you can use a can of cream and You just want to constantly stir it. It's getting thick. They just kind of don't want it too thin, so that's going to be real thin and go over it on your plate. It's getting there. mother-in-law when she was alive she taught me how to make gravy from any kind of meat any kind of from the grease from your fried chicken uh, the broth from your ham turkey anything so it's almost there I mean like I say you don't want it too thick she wants thick enough to It's about the consistency you want. And what you do uh, is I just take them, I put it over top of my uh, country fried steak and, uh, and I put a little bit in my potatoes. It's up to you. And I'll tell you something else I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a little bit of paprika in my gravy. Uh, you don't want too much, just a sprinkle. Since your country fried steaks do uh, have a uh, paprika in them, and that's it. Uh, I'll take a picture and uh, add a picture to of a. Uh, Thank you. Uh, I hope y'all, uh, if you make this, I hope y'all enjoy it. Um, let me know. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, you can ask. And if I don't know the answer, I will find the answer to that. And uh, y'all have a good day. Thank you.